Hold. Madam Marine Clerk. First substitute HB 104, property taxation amendments, Representative Jeremy Peterson. This bill was heard in revenue and taxation with a vote of 904. Representative Peterson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thought this day would never come. So HB 104 comes to us from our county clerks. If you own a piece of property, uh, you will receive a notice from your county each year telling you what that property is worth uh, uh, and what it's been assessed at. You might also receive, if your county chooses to raise taxes, you might receive a, a truth and taxation notice uh, via mail. What this bill does is it allows your county to email this notice to you if you want to have it emailed to you. And if you don't want to have it emailed to you, you can continue to receive it via snail mail. Now on the truth and taxation notice, if for some reason your email is, is invalid or old, uh, the county will get that notice and send you a, a paper notice anyway to make sure that you got that. But that's, uh, that's what this bill does. Thank you. Discussion to the bill. Seeing no lights, we'll come back to sponsor for summation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'll wave. Summation has been waived. Voting will now be open on first substitute House Bill 104, property taxation amendments. Seeing all present having voted, voting will now be closed. First substitute House Bill 104, having received 70 yes votes, zero no votes, passes this body and will be transmitted to the Senate for its consideration. Madam Marine Clerk. First substitute HB 162, motion picture incentive amendments, Representative Jeremy Peterson. This bill was heard in revenue and taxation with the vote of 706. Representative Peterson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm sorry to monopolize everyone's time today. Uh, this bill uh, deals with tax incentives and tax credits that are managed by GOED regarding our motion uh, picture film industry. This bill was negotiated uh, with them and it does one thing, it, it asks them to report along with the economic impact that they have on our state, the amount of new state revenue that is generated from the, pro the projects that they distribute incentives for. And that's what this bill does. Thank you. Discussion to the bill. Seeing no lights, we'll come back to sponsor for summation. Uh, I will waive. Summation has been waived. Voting will now be open on first substitute House Bill 162, motion picture incentives amendments. Seeing all present having voted, voting will now be closed. First substitute, House Bill 162, having received 72 yes votes, zero no votes, passes this body and will be transmitted to the Senate for its consideration. Madam Marine Clerk. HB 170, Medical Care Savings Account Tax Credit Repeal, Representative Jeremy Peterson. This bill was heard in revenue and taxation with the vote of 616. <sighs> Representative Peterson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last one, I promise. So this bill uh, repeals the medical savings plan tax credit. Uh, this tax credit uh, was made obsolescent by the enactment of the Affordable Care Act and uh, has, uh, has fallen out of, uh, uh, of use uh, by the taxpayer. It also was found by the tax commission to also uh, have been used mostly or almost completely incorrectly by Utah taxpayers who were claiming it on their tax return. And so the tax commission voted to uh, support the repeal of this tax credit. Thank you. Discussion to the bill. Representative Cox. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will the sponsor yield to a question? Will the sponsor yield to a question? Yes. Proceed. I'm looking at the fiscal note and it didn't look like it was zero and I was wondering if you could explain if it's not being used why the fiscal analyst didn't agree. So the, there were claims made 
this last, uh, the last number or the most recent number I have is that 12 Utahns made a claim on this, but those claims have been, uh, have been an error. The Tax Commission did not find one time that this tax credit had been claimed accurately on the, their tax report records. Thank you. Further discussion? Representative McKiff. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I support the measure and add this uh, editorial comment. Any bill that causes us to look at these outdated tax credits would be an awesome bill. <laughs> Thank you. Further discussion? Seeing no lights, we'll come back to sponsor for summation. I appreciate your support. With that, voting will now be open on House Bill 170, Medical Care Savings Account Tax Credit Repeal. Seeing all present having voted, voting will now be closed. House Bill 170, having received 71 yes votes, zero no votes, passes this body and will be transmitted to the Senate for its consideration.